prime factorization is basically just breaking down a larger number into its most simple factors. So let's say we have uh, the number 32. You're going to try to break it down into its most simple factors, and what it's going to end up looking like is, I would say it's kind of like tree math. It's going to be broken down into its simple factors. So you got to know your multiplication facts for this. What can you break down 32 into? And you want to get it to like its most fine, finest point. Well, I can break down 32 into 8 times 4. Okay, yeah, that's right. Now, let me look at both this number and this number. Can I break 4 into anything? Is there anything I can multiply 4 by other than 1 um, and break it down? Well, yeah, I can break down 4 into... 2 times 2. Um, okay, now I'm going to stay with that 2 times 2. Is there anything I could break down 2 into, like 2 times something, other than 1 to make it more simple? N no, so my 4 is kind of done. So let's look at my 8 now. Is there anything I could break down my 8 into? Any two numbers I can multiply together to get 8 that doesn't have a 1 in it? Yeah, well, 4 times 2. I can break it down. I can't break down that 2 anymore, so that's as simple as that one gets. But I can break down that 4 into a 2 times 2. And I'm left with nothing else. I, that's as far down as I can break it. So if I was to write it out as its prime factorization, there's two ways I could write this. Way 1 and way 2. I could say, okay, we'll have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I have 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 times 2, or I could write it out as 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth power. Those are two ways. Now somebody's going to say, well, what if I didn't break down 32 into 8 and 4? Will I still get these same two answers? You will. Watch. Let me break down 32 into not 8 times 4. Let's say it's... Uh, bring it over a little bit. Let's say it's uh, 16 and 2. Well, I can't break down my 2 any farther, so I'll break down my 16 into, I can do 8 and 2, or I can do 4 and 4. Okay, 4 times 4. Can I break down my 4s? Yeah, my 4s would be 2 times 2, which I can't go down any farther for that. And I'll break down this 4 into 2 times 2, and look, I still have those same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five twos like I did in the other problem. I'll do another one, a little bit bigger. Sometimes a big number doesn't mean it's going to be any harder. Let's just say I have the number 50. Got to know your multiplication facts. What can I multiply 50 by? I can do 10 and 5. That'll work. 10 times 5 does equal 50. I can't break down 5. That's as simple as it's going to go. If you want to, you can go and circle it. Say, okay, I can't go any farther. Can I break down 10 in anything? It's not a 1. I can multiply 5 times 2 or 2 times 5, and those are as simple as they could get. And there's two ways I could write this. I could say, okay, to find the prime factorization of 50, it could be 2 times 5 times 5, or another way you could write it is 2 times 5. 5 squared, and I try to put the smaller number first if I can. That's just kind of my habit. And once again, uh, if you were to break down 50 into, oh, give me some more space, 50 into not 10 and 5, let's say 25 and 2, 25 times 2, I can't break down the 2 anymore. 25 is 5 times 5, it would still be. 2 times 5 times 5, or it would be 2 times 5 squared. So that would be the prime factorization of this. Now what I want you to try to do is I want you to try to find the prime factorization of the number 48. I'll put like a little thought bubble around it. Try to come up with the prime factorization of 48. What can you break them down? And what will your final answer be? Once you do that, write down your answer in the comments if it'll let you.